All right, guys, here I am. I uh, finally got the gypsy wagon done. Um, been a while, so this is the final video. You guys are going to see the inside and uh, outside, and I'll explain uh, some of the things I did. So, I got the, uh, the windows are uh, out of a, uh, an old RV. I uh, recycled those. I made the shutters so that uh, I can close them when I uh, head down the road so that the uh, rocks don't bust out my window. My little dog house here has my air conditioning unit in it. So I have some uh, straps here just to unhook these. Pop this off and then my air conditioner can breathe. Down here I have my battery for my uh, brakes and um, my electrical box is just a um, small Pelican box from uh, Harbor Freight, $12 and I just hooked all my electrical in there so I know where it is. On the front I have two uh, trailer jacks, that's what I'm using to level it for now. Um, and then in the back, I just have some uh, 4x4s with 2x6 on the bottom. The real dimensions are uh, 8 foot long by 5 feet on the bottom. And then uh, it extends to about 7 feet here and up at the ceiling, it's around 8 feet wide. As it goes out on a 6 degree angle. And uh, the roof is actually uh, 10 feet long because I have a two and a half foot overhang or two foot overhang in the back. I also put uh, hooks up top down the sides for uh, a tarp. It uh, goes on both sides and I also have two pieces of electrical conduit for poles. The windows are uh, recycled from uh, an old trailer an old RV. Got some uh, tin roofing up there from uh, RV or Lowe's. Alright, this is where I got my electrical coming out down here. I got the uh, outdoor plug socket. And then I push that in there. It's about 30 feet. And it all fits in there under the fridge, which you'll see in a minute. This is where my uh, sink water uh, drains out of. I just have a little plug in it. It just drains up down to the ground, but I think I'm going to put a hook here with a uh, galvanized bucket because I know some of the campsites don't like you just dropping water on the ground. And then I'll use that water at the end of the night to put my fire out. I made the stairs. Uh, just out of some pressure treated. I made the doors. Uh, the hinges and the hardware I got at uh, the flea market. The window is out of a cabinet door from uh, an old RV. And I do actually have the skeleton key to lock it. And I also have a uh, small um, deadbolt that you can lock from the inside. Got a, a lantern up there. That's just a, a, a kerosene lantern that I got uh, at the flea market. I think I paid three dollars. Oh man, this is just a magnetic screen. Most of everything in this is all uh, either recycled or uh, secondhand. So this is uh, inside here. I got uh, this old. Uh, Antique water cooler from flea market, air egg machine, some cups, some uh, things to put my coffee and whatnot in, small uh, small toaster oven, some plates and whatnot. I got a small little dorm fridge down here, uh, but I can also take that out and uh, use just a cooler if I'm going to be going uh, boondocking. This cabinet here is uh, actually an old desktop and a desk that I pretty much got the 
the drawers from them. And then I refronted them with pallet wood. And then the other half is on that side. Down here I got my uh, electrical panel that I got out of an RV. It's got uh, 110 on one side. Three breakers, or, or uh, one big breaker and two split breakers. And the other side's 12 volt, but I haven't hooked that in yet. And then I just have uh, my electrical cord is uh, underneath, underneath here. I can access it, and then I pull it out the side, which I forgot to show you. We'll go out there, and uh, I'll uh, show you that after. We can cut that in. Uh, on this side here. Pots and pans, flea market, and then uh, also flea market. The stove is actually a uh, 30 millimeter grenade launcher can. Uh, my buddy that was in the military got for me with a fire alarm box front that I put on. And uh, it heats this up pretty good. I do have to work on this. I put some stone down here. I think I'm going to rip that out and put some aluminum or something to I, that I can screw the stove down because it moves around, moves around a little bit when I move down the road. Uh, all the countertops and tabletops are all pallet, uh, recycled pallet wood. Uh, all this is all recycled pallet wood. These are actually table legs. Also up here, table legs that I recycled from tables I found on the side of the road. Uh, what else? Down here, I got my portable bathroom. I can roll out if I need it. And, uh, there's also some storage under there. Um, firewood storage is also more firewood storage underneath. And both seats have under storage in here. I do have it wired up for 110. I have outlets, uh, two outlets under the bed. Two outlets here, an outlet up there, and an outlet back there below, um, underneath where the um, refrigerator is. So, while you're sitting, uh, sitting down here, it's got a small table that pulls out. Two people can sit and uh, eat, play games, play cards, whatever. Over here, in case you need some extra counter space, I have a little flip up that gives you just a little bit of extra space. And also more storage on this side. Which I have a, a one burner uh, gas stove that I can pull out and cook with. Let's see. Got some hanging storage, knife block. Um, in case I go off grid, I do have two oil lanterns that I got at the flea market. I think I got them for like, uh, like 15 bucks for both of them. One on either side. The cabinets I got uh, off the side of the road, they were um, a toilet cabinet behind the toilet. I cut them apart, uh, put some uh, stuff on there, made those. I made that uh, magazine rack, this little shelf over here, some live edge shelving up there that I made. I do have a cargo net on the ceiling just for extra storage. You know, each cabinet has storage. Goes all the way back. An old clock that I had just hanging around in my basement. So I uh, put that in there. I do have uh, a couple switches here. Uh, one is for LED lights that are under the bed. And one is for a fan that's up at the top of this tube. And it just uh, cycles the air. Is what I noticed in the winter. It was very hot up here. And down in the lower bunk, it was pretty cold, so I just wanted to uh, be able to cycle, cycle that. So 
the LED lights and that fan are both 12 volt, but I have them plugged in over here with a converter. So, the uh, curtains I made are just, uh, they just roll down with a piece of uh, copper pipe. They just kind of cover the window just like that, and then you just roll them back up. One on each window. Let's see. Uh, before I pull the bed out, I'll do that last. I have underneath. I have the lights on now. I have a uh, crib mattress under there for one of my kids to sleep. It's got some storage. I do have a uh, air conditioner under there, and uh, I carry a uh, portable water. And then uh, the upper bed kind of stows away like this, uh, makes like a little couch or whatever. And then when you want to sleep, just pull it out. And uh, you got a uh, futon size bed. This has uh, slats under it that go into each other. That's how it stows away. Pretty comfy. Not bad. I like it. So if we go outside, I'll show you uh, where that electrical comes out. I do have a, a little sink. It, this sink is a um, just a stainless steel bowl. I cut a hole in, put a, um, a drain that just pipes out and uh, drains directly out there onto the ground. Around all the way around the whole top, I do have LED lights. Uh, you can't see them during the day, but there's a LED light strip that goes all the way around, multicolored with a remote that I have uh, over near the bed. Little pantry cabinet here made. I had a had the cabinet door and made made the cabinet out of some uh, palo wood. I like palo wood because it's free. <laughs>